Hello, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate just how radioactive strontium-90 is. Now I'm going to demonstrate this using three different Geiger counters. I'm going to demonstrate it using my mini monitor, which is here. It's going to be quite a hard video to show, unfortunately, because of sort of how I'm going to have to set everything up. Um, I'm also going to show you it using the um, DP-75 Polish Geiger counter, which is a good military model that B-Store sent me, so check him out on eBay below. Um, that's a very cool Geiger counter, and I'm also going to demonstrate it using my SOX 01M, which is this one. Oh, great, the camera's gone out of focus. Um, so what I'm going to do is, before I demonstrate the strontium, what I want to do is first demonstrate um, Fiestaware, which previously was one of the most radioactive items I had, so you can get an idea of just how radioactive strontium-90 is in comparison. So let's put this one on. And first we'll put the Fiesta Ware up to this Geiger counter. So hopefully you can see that it's going to about 100 counts per second, if that. Right, now for the strontium. This is covered by a bit of aluminium plate there, or steel plate. And the idea of that is that strontium-19 mostly gives off beta radiation. Strontium-90 is one of the things you get in nuclear fallout. So, now that is exposed, the strontium is basically shooting beta, like, you know, straight out of it. So what we're going to do now is, with that there, we're going to get the probe on this. If I can get them both in frame, that would help. Yeah, there we go, and you can read that. We'll get the probe, and we'll just put this near that. See, it's already going up, even with the probe not that close. There we go, we're getting to 100. it's off the scale. I don't want to damage this Geiger counter by constantly keeping it there. So that's given you some idea. So it's way, way more radioactive than the Fiesta where it was. So now that's there, let's now use the SOX 01M and then we'll finish off with the DP75. So this is like a modern sort of small Geiger counter slash decimeter. The idea of this is obviously you can use it to, um, you know, have in your pocket and it's fairly practical. It reads both beta and gamma radiation, and x-rays as well. It doesn't read alpha, this one. So it's already saying hi. The reason it's saying that is because the strontium, I've got the cover off of it. So it's already high. To give you some idea, the number there, where it's 0 0.52 at the moment, background levels are normally, in my area, 0 0.12 to about 0 0.2. Right. What I'm going to do is change to the searching mode, where it says 0 0.46. Um, and now we're going to put this onto the strontium. So if I get that in frame again with the strontium and I pop this down on top of it. That number is going to keep going higher and higher. Now let me get that in frame for you and I'll zoom in on it. Bear with me. As I said, this isn't the easiest video to film. Let's zoom in a bit more. So it's at 19 at the moment, it will go a lot higher than that. Um, let me just get that properly onto the strontium. There we go. Because obviously it needs to be in the bit where the beta tube is exposed. 20, 301. I think it went to about 450 earlier when I was testing it. 376. I'm stood quite far back, by the way, if you're wondering. Three seven seven. I'll let it go for a bit longer, and then I'll um, show you with the Polish Geiger counter. Three seven seven. Right, I don't know if it's going to go higher than that, but that gives you some idea of just how crazy that number is. Um, yeah. Right. What does it think this is in sieverts? Well, let's, let's put on dose actually. So we we'll put it back on there and then look at the dose number going up. What you'll probably keep seeing is that the dose will be shooting up. Um, I don't know, yeah, there we go, it's, it's moving. So if you see how fast that's going up, I think that's micro sieverts, isn't it? Um, or milli sieverts, the um, USB. But yeah, that is pretty bloody high if you can actually see the milli sieverts number going up like that. You know, not going up by points, but essentially going up a full value each time. I don't know if this is actually kind of net 
high on the capacity of this Geiger. But yeah, the point is, if we go back to measuring, notice it says dangerous. Because, yeah, it's a dangerous radioactive source. Uh, just to let you know, B-Store sent me the Strontium-90, but he doesn't sell these due to, obviously, what it is. Basically, what he does with these is uses them as check sources and wondered if I wanted one for doing videos on. I said, yes, please. Um, but, you know, normally I don't know how easy it would be to source Strontium-90 because it's a scary thing. Right, now let me show it using the DP-75 so we can get a ronk and reading. Okay, so here's the DP-75 with the Strontium near it. And what I'm going to do is um, first show you what the gamma is on it because with the probe on this basically the idea is when the probe is sealed or closed I'm sorry I'll just turn that around so I can see the make sure everything's in frame when the probe is closed um, you only can read gamma through this and x-rays so if I put that to the strontium what you can hopefully see on there is it's not very high um, the needle moves but it doesn't move very much Right, now for the fun bit. Let's open this up and expose the beta window. Apologies for the noise, it's not very nice, is it? It's a bit grating. Right. There we go. So, that is the beta window. Ooh, if I get in frame. Right, that's the beta window. So, that is where it reads beta radiation. So, we're on 0 0.5 millironcgen. So let's hold the probe quite far off, and you can see the needle is moving. Move the probe closer. And it's off the scale, um, probably like a yard or two away, to be honest. A few feet away. Uh, not a few feet, sorry, but yeah, a yard away or whatever. Right, so let's go to 5 millironcgen per hour. And multiplier. Now let's move this a bit closer. And we're off the scale again. Let's go to 50. And now what we'll do is we'll put the probe right next to the strontium, if I can line it up properly to do it. Because we will get a very high reading if I can actually get all this into position. Let's put that flat like that and put the strontium... It's out of frame, but just trust me, I've got the probe on it. There we go. Right, so, again, off the scale. So now we're going to go to 0 0.5 Ronken per hour reading. And what we will find is basically you just have to halve the top number on the 0 0.5 multiplier. That you will probably get a reading of somewhere between just under a Ronken per hour. Or, um you know, a couple of Ronken per hour with this. So I just need to make sure the window's still fully on it. Because obviously that's how you get the reading. But yeah, there we go. That's the window properly on it. So as you can see that going up. Pop that there. It's getting to about two. The highest I got it was um, about 2.5 earlier, but to give you an idea, if it's at 2, is the needle still moving? I'll just twist that about a bit. There we go, that's closer to the beta window there. So that's about 2.5. I don't know if I can get the window any closer to the strontium at all. That's probably it. So, 2.5 is falling off because I've got that away from the strontium. Um, yeah. So, right, I'm going to cover the strontium up again now with its little shield. Because I'm actually radiating myself doing this. So, yeah. If it's on 2.5, that's 1.25 Ronken per hour. Ronkens. So, um, yeah. Pretty scary stuff, so big thanks to B Store for sending me this. As said, you can't get these from him normally because, you know, there's a reason you wouldn't want to send this to random people for their own safety. But, yeah, 
big thanks for him to send me the DP-75 as well. There'll probably already have been a full video up on this by the time this video goes live. But yeah, the DP-75 is very cool. And the multiplier goes up to 500 Rontgen per hour. So if you have it on the 500 Rontgen per hour reading, and it goes to 5, that would be 5 times 500. So what's that, 2,500? Um, so yeah, this this particular Geiger counter can go up to 2,500 Rontgen per hour readings which is very impressive actually. Lots of military Geigers go to like 500 Rontgen per hour, maybe. A thousand if you're lucky. But yeah, DP-75s are very nice. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing a full video on this, which will probably already be live by the time you've seen this, but, you know, quite an impressive thing. So there you go. DP-75 Geiger counter showing strong team 90. Scary stuff.